recently voted in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Here's Mr. Hank Aaron. Hank? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. That was, uh, that's exciting to see that. Uh, yeah, I guess you've seen it several times by now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you get a little goose pimples on Yeah. It. Did yeah. you uh, uh, get a, a phone call from the White House uh, after that, or? Uh... <laughs> Believe it or not, I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, the funniest thing about that day, that night, um, after I'd hit the home run, I went back to left field, and I was standing in my position to catch a fly ball. And Donald Davis and our traveling secretary was running down left field line. He was telling me the president was on telephone. And I said, well, fine, Donald. I said, but what do you want me to do, stop the ball game? I said, just put the president on the hold, and I'll be right with him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sure enough, right after the inning, I went running up the steps, and the coast president was on telephone, and he was inviting myself and my wife to be his guest at the White House. Uh -huh. this, now, this would be President Nixon. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You said it. <laughs> but anyhow, I answered the telephone. He said, he said, Henry, I said, I would like for you to, um, to be my guest at the White House. I said, what well, fine, Mr. President. I said, thank you very much. I said, when do you want me to be your guest? He said, as soon as possible. Hell, I didn't get there quick enough. Yeah. So he, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> didn't make it quickly enough. Uh... How do you... Uh... How do you stack up with some of these guys who uh, were your peers, Pete Rose, uh, physically? Now, you've retired five, six years ago. Well, I don't make as quite as much money as Pete. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> my cap stayed on my head, of course. Uh -huh. Now, what's uh, that? Now, some ball players, uh, <laughs> Willie Mays, uh, great, one of the greatest, would lose his cap, Roberto Clemente, another fine ball player, uh, one of the greatest, lost his cap. You didn't have that problem, Hank. What's. Uh... <laughs> Well, I think one reason they always gave me one that fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I gave them the right size, but no. <laughs> I think, you know, really, I just played the game the way it, it was supposed to be played. Uh -huh. you know, if, you, if you'll notice, and I'm sure a lot of people around the country have seen Joe DiMaggio play baseball, and who was truly one of the greatest stars that ever played the game, mm -hmm. uh, he did things the way it was supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, I made a few mistakes. I was not flashy, but... Uh, you know, well, that's why, 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 why should I run after fly ball when it's 20 rows in the stand? Mm -hmm. you know, I now, mean, what, that doesn't make any sense. See, what you're implying here, what, you, what I'm hearing a little bit of is, is you're saying some of these guys may have been hot dogs, just a little there. Well, I'm going to leave that alone. You said it. <laughs> well, no, I don't want Pete Rose coming looking for me. I, uh, uh, but now, uh, uh, who's between the two, you and Pete, who would be... Let's just, for example, pick a skill here, the better runner, the quicker, the faster. Oh, no question about it. I was a better runner than Pete. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, and I, I don't mean that to try to downgrade Pete because he is truly one of the great ball players yeah. Yeah. In, this, in this country. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> But, not sure. <laughs> not sure what happened over there. But, uh, you know, I, I could run the bases pretty yeah. well. You know, uh, I got to tell you this, I, and, and everybody tells you this. I wasn't in Atlanta when you, when you parked 715, but I was in Cincinnati when you knocked out 714. And uh, that was the one that tied the record. And for me, it was a huge thrill. And uh, uh, I don't know, I just had to get that in. Now, <laughs> One of those things I started talking, I realized I didn't have much to say, and I felt like, well, I'll, just, I'll finish it up. I think I'm faster than Pete Rose, too. Now, um, let's see. What else? You, uh, uh, during that time, a lot of pressure on you, I guess, huh? Well, I did have a lot of pressure on me. It was about two, what, two and a half years, you know, constantly being harassed by the press. Mm -hmm. The same questions. Why didn't you hit a home run tonight? If, even, if you were, even if I would go four for four. Why didn't you hit a home run? Why did you take this pitch? Uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was pressure because uh, if you've never played the game of baseball, people don't realize that you just can't walk up to the plate and hit a home run anytime you yeah. want to. You know? Now, I was under the impression that you said that night in Atlanta, you felt like you were going to do it. You wanted to get it over with, I right? Felt, I felt like I wanted to get it over with. I was happy that I got it over with for two reasons. One, for my teammates, 
and the other ones were because of the fact that I wanted to to go back and start playing baseball at the way I yeah, it's tough. how to play it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, let me, well, let's get up to present. Recently, you were voted into the Hall of Fame at your er uh, earliest opportunity of eligibility. And this happens regardless of who the player is. Uh, you were not a unanimous vote. Nine writers decided Henry Aaron wasn't quite ready to go into the Hall of Fame. Now, they were, they were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they do that with everybody. Now, what is the deal on that? Well, I don't know, you know, but I'm going to give you my reason for that is because... I think that, uh, you know, even before those nine writers uh, did not vote for me, I was called on a telephone by several sports writers that told me that, you know, uh, Joe DiMaggio was not a unanimous choice. Willie Mays was not a unanimous choice. Babe Ruth was Babe not. Babe Ruth, Ty, Ty Cobb, Cobb was not. and you can go on and on and on. Well, you know, I'm not saying that I should have been a unanimous choice, but I think that if they're going to start saying that uh, simply because of those other guys were not a unanimous yeah. choice, I think that's wrong. You know, yeah. they, every ball player should be judged on his own merit yeah. and how he produced and what he did on the field rather than talking about other players. Yeah. Did you uh, ever have any difficulty with uh, umpires? Ever get uh, fights, kick dirt on them, tossed out of games? Oh, no, I felt like kicking dirt on a few of them, but never had in a fight. Never kick, got kicked out of a ball game. What are the What are the regulations? What can you do to an umpire? You, you can't kick dirt on them, can you? Or can can't, you? No, you can't spit in their face. No. And you got to. You folks at home may want to take these down. Uh, and you have to make sure that you brush your teeth. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're going to pause here. No, we're not going to pause here. We're going to... Oh, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm new at the job. Uh, Hank, it was a pleasure. Uh, I've been you. a big fan Thank of yours for years. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Hank Aaron. WNBC Sports, and your long and illustrious career, was that the toughest interview you've ever gone through? That was really tough, but did he, I enjoyed it. Did he throw you any curves? Believe it or not, he threw me probably one of the best curveballs I've ever seen, <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great interview. How would you rate that, a single, double, triple, or home run? I would have to rate it as a home run. Yes, he's, he's being known as a slugger around here right now. I thought David did a terrific job. It was great. Would you place him in the same league as a Carson and the others? Well, I've never been in, interviewed by Johnny Carson, but uh, I would have to say that as far as I'm concerned, David is on top. Never been interviewed. I guess that's why he's being called Scoop Letterman. <laughs> Hank Aaron, thank you very much. Hank Aaron coming through once again. Al Albert, back to you, David. Thank you very much, Al Albert, NBC Sports, and Hank Aaron coming up, Irving Caesar. We'll be right back.